Bruh. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy, and I'm back again with another video for you guys. We got another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the... Didn't get it right, but... <laughs> SF30 Pro controller for the Switch. This is an NES, well, I'm sorry, SNES style controller for the Switch. Now, I'm actually really excited to unbox this and show you guys what's inside. Let's get into it. Do do do, do do do, do do do, Ozzy's tech and stuff, yeah. All right, guys, so here we have the SF30 Pro. Now, this is the Super Famicom edition with the colored, uh, buttons here uh, they do have the SNES um, or the SN30 Pro that one's a little bit more the Super Nintendo version and they also have a Game Boy version which it matches the color style of the Game Boy and also the d-pad is the same style but I decided to go for this one since uh, this to my opinion just looks cooler so let's just take a look at the box really quick you got here SF30 Pro gamepad uh, Rumble, this does have rumble motion controls and USB type C. Good job. We're getting away from that uh, micro USB. So I like it on the sides, nothing on the top, just shows you. And the good thing about these, they come with the two um, R1, R2, L1, L2. So you can literally use this as a pro controller uh, if this is what you want to do. Now, it does have the, the four lights. Kind of like the pro controller I have the pro controller here you see the four lights so just to compare i have the uh, both of them here so when i take these out i will be comparing them to the pro controller now i got these on amazon they seem to have a sale five dollars off i got them for forty dollars forty dollars for a style like this is you know pretty good pretty good price the primary reason i got them is to play 2d style games so i've been playing a lot of dead cells uh, Mega Man, and i just like the d-pad uh, it's a little bit bigger well not a little bit a lot <laughs> a lot bigger than the uh, the pro controller and it's in the right spot which is up here i can just be playing and and you know it's it's a little bit more comfortable rather than having to be like this all right so there's the box oh let's see what we got here in the back so i can focus all right so you can use it for the switch or the windows pc Mac OS, Steam, Android, you can pair these up to Android. You could also pair them up to a Raspberry Pi. The game, well, what comes in the box, I guess. Uh, the game pad, it's got uh, 16 hours, which is pretty good. Not quite the 40 hours the uh, game pad gets, but that's still, you know, pretty decent. A lot better than the PS4. Uh, USB Type-C, big, big plus, and the, uh, the manual. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, I don't believe these have any tape on them. You just slide this off and oh that was me dropping it on the floor sorry <laughs> so here it is you know pretty good packaging now I did already remove this from the case to try them out and pair them and you know so far so good uh, just a quick disclaimer there let me see if I can take this out put this down and remove this plastic Try to not throw it on the floor this time, and here we have the game pad. Good packaging, guys. You know, um, 8 bit do or 8 bit dough. Good packaging. Now, you do have the 8 bit dough. Well, that, let me take it out. All right, so you do have the 8 bit dough game pad Bluetooth controller. Start and select. You have the uh, home button and the capture button here. On the bottom you do have the joysticks like I mentioned these feel very very solid now without a grip down here I don't know how comfortable it's going to uh, be to use for an extended period of time the the pro controller you know I can use for an extended period of time because I'm holding this down here and I'm just very comfortable but as you can see the d-pad is down here so it's a little bit different a little bit more difficult and the d-pad is smaller so if you look at both of these this one's going to be bigger and uh in the correct place for 2d platformers and this one is more for overall you know link to the past uh, well not link to the past <laughs> breath of the wild stuff like that action games this one's going to be more for 2d or if i'm playing you know smash or mario kart someone else is probably going to get this controller and i'll be using this one and if they're nice to me we can exchange 
All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Here's the controller itself. Like I said, there's the lights. Here's the buttons. Now the buttons feel a lot clickier. They feel a lot clickier. A lot of people like that. I like that as well, but I do know people that wanted a more quiet feel to it. Let's test this out. They click, but it's not as loud as these. And of course you have the, the buttons on the top. Pretty cool. The back, 8-bit do. And you got the specifications there. And that is the controller. So let's check in the box really quick. You do get a user manual here, but I won't be reading it. And you get a USB Type-C controller, uh, <laughs> USB Type-C cord. So let's get that out. Now it's a flat cord and it's uh, fairly, fairly long. I want to say maybe three feet long. Pretty cool. Pretty good quality as well. Pretty nice. I can use this to charge my phone or I can use it to charge, you know, my headphones or my uh, Bluetooth speaker or anything like that. So good job in keeping it USB Type-C. All right, so let's go back here. Now what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and grab a SNES controller from the uh, mini, the mini version to compare. And give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have here now the SNES controller for the classic edition. Actually, let me get rid of this instruction manual, put it over here. And we have both the controllers here. Obviously, the big thing that you see is that this one has the joysticks and this one does not. Now this one feels amazing. The D-pad is a little bit. They both feel pretty solid. This is uh, an exact replica of the original SS SNES controller back in the day in my childhood. And I play a lot of Mario Kart, uh, you know, Link to the Past, and you know, stuff like that on uh, on my classic edition. So this is the look and feel of this one. And as you can see, they're very, very similar. Very similar in uh, size as well. The one thing is these these um, these deep these uh, joystick controllers and the buttons down here. And obviously you get an extra uh, R2 and L2 here so you can use it as a switch controller. You got your um, USB type C port and everything. So I have been using these. Let me go ahead and get rid of this uh, SNES controller. Now, I have been using these for a couple days now already, and I can go ahead and tell you that they feel, well, it feels uh, fantastic for 2D platformers. I haven't tried it for like Breath of the Wild or anything. Uh, I've just been playing Dead Cells on this, but it feels fantastic. Uh, you know, just the way that you can just place your thumb here and then you can just do this or, or go like that. You know, they just they just feel fantastic. Now for 40 bucks, and I think but I believe now they're 45 again. But this is pretty cool. So the Pro Controller is about 60 to 70 dollars. You can, might be able to get a deal on it. But if you want something just for for 2D platformers, or actually this works for um, Nintendo Online, so you can use you can use this for like the classic NES games on Nintendo Online. This will work perfect. I'm telling you, like just playing Super Mario 3 and just putting your thumbs like this it, it, you know it feels fantastic now let me just give you a quick glimpse of how they look uh, when playing a game a 2d platformer give me a second alright guys so just quickly how you pair them is uh, I think for switch mode you press start and Y and then uh, you go into find controllers and you'll find it there you just go ahead and select it as you can see select this one here and it should be good to go so as you can see, I have SNES, I'm sorry, NES online here in Dead Cells. Let's go into Dead Cells real quick, and I just want to show you how um, it performs.
All right, guys, so here's Dead Cells. Uh, let me go ahead and grab that, grab that. So here's your, your attack button, and here's your secondary button. And I am not very good at this game, but I just want to show you the how it... I'm trying to talk and <laughs> play at the same time, but how it, uh, how it performs. I'll take that. So having this D-pad in the right place here is amazing. You know, it really adds to the immersion. All right, this guy almost got me. And one thing I'm noticing, I'm not sure why, but it's very easy to go diagonal in this game. I'm not sure why I gotta look into it. See, like they're jumping. He's jumping a little bit diagonal when I jump down. I'm pressing down, let's see. I'm pressing down and he's going, I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there he went straight down, but it's going like a little bit off. Not sure why. All right, gotta look into that. Maybe I gotta calibrate the controller or something. Oh, stopped him before he got to me there. <laughs> All right, I don't need that. Can I get up? Okay, I can. Now, I didn't make it in, in time for the two minutes. And here, what can I use here? The electric, okay. Now, I'm not sure why I'm going to go with uh, tact. All right, so I'm not sure why the diagonal is it's not working. Maybe it's the way I'm holding it or something. I'm not sure why. Let's see. Mm, sure, I'll take that. So just, just the comfort level of this D-pad being in the right place is so much better especially for these 2D platformers it's a lot better all right let me see all right so that's just a quick glimpse here of how it plays on the switch itself uh, it does play very well the only thing is I have to look and see why it's it's going it's moving to the side for some reason when I press down I might need to calibrate the controller or whatnot but um, that's pretty cool so that's just a, uh, an unboxing video to show you guys how it um, how it looks and feels. Uh, I did get this on Amazon for forty dollars, so if you want to purchase it, uh, I'll try to link. Uh, well, I will <laughs> link it up in the description. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to these videos to help me um, add more videos as I try to grow this channel. Uh, yeah, this video is getting a little long already, but uh, there it is. SF thirty Pro. Uh, super funny conversion pretty cool if I do say so myself so um, that'll go ahead and conclude this video thank you all for watching please like and subscribe and until the next one peace